Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. This is Daydream Days. Today, I'm back from the dead. Long time no see. And first things first, I owe you an explanation, not an apology per se, because I don't want to be entitled. But as long as I don't make any money out of this channel creating content for you guys, which I really love the reason that I came back. I don't feel like I really have to deliver this content regularly, um, which is the reason why I burnt out big time, to be honest. <laughs> I was just so sad and so tired in each and every one, each and every one, each and every single one of my videos that I felt like I did not deliver the content that you guys deserve. Like if you guys click on a video of mine, I expect you to see a very energetic, a very happy days that is ready to give you guys a good time in front of your computer screens or telephone screens or whatever displays you're watching these videos from. <laughs> and I, I just wasn't doing that. I felt like I was disappointing you guys and I was just like, heck, if I cannot deliver the content that I want to, I'd rather not deliver anything at all. After all, I'm not paid for doing this. And to be honest, YouTube, as I see it, is a business. If your product doesn't sell well, it's like any sort of product that you pick up from the store. If it doesn't sell well, even if you love it, and I really appreciate every single and each and every single one of you guys for clicking on my videos and liking and commenting and enjoying my videos. But to be honest, if you love a product in the store, but that product doesn't sell well, you can sadly expect it to come off the shelves at some point because any any business that doesn't sell becomes bankrupt at some point and i feel like my business came bankrupt of time because i'm in university full time and also i have a part time job and all that is just taking a lot of time out of my schedule and i ended up doing videos at night time i was really tired and at some point i just lost all my desire to do these things and as long as something is a hobby it's just something that you include in your in your schedule as optional and as long as i wasn't getting enough sleep that optional was just like okay just take that off the list i am currently on vacation from university and i just felt like i have a little bit more time to do these things and i'm really happy to be back and that being said i don't really promise you guys a consistent upload schedule i'm i'm going to stay off any promises from now on because i made a lot of promises to do neighborhood reviews and as much as i love to keep my promises and do these things i realized that i i don't resonate with doing that i don't really like doing neighborhood reviews i love playing them like i do right now we're in washer village i've really enjoyed playing that and i'm going to keep playing it in rotations anyways so i i'm probably going to do another strange town let's play next to this washer village you know to redo my strange town series because the last one was a fail and i put it on private <laughs> and um, maybe i'm going to continue my river blossom hills let's play with nerd it of course if she wants to if she still wants to do that uh i cleaned up my mods uh, folder and I found out the mod that was creating a lot of trouble in my gameplay which is why poor Prescott here is in a very very weird position he's like implanted into the wooden floor which looks very uncomfortable it was a mod for teen pregnancy in teen something like that and um yeah now now I don't really like to play with teen pregnancy in my game anyways so 
I ended up deleting it, which I think I think in Teen in Teen Mater was the mod that created a lot of uh, miscarriages in my game as well. So I'm hoping that now I'm not going to have to deal with that either and with the glitch that teenagers were not able to go to school some of them not all of them but some of them couldn't go to school which was kind of a pain in the butt <laughs> anyways we're here with the williams family and um gwendolyn williams is actually a single mother to prescott williams who was i mean who was who is oh my god horseshoe green let me show you the family tree uh so you can understand it better so prescott is um pollination technicians son Gwendolyn is his uh, mother and it looks like Olivia and Isaac are his grandparents but they are deceased very sad but I think she is also pregnant she's thinking if she's moving on too fast she has in her bio I'll read it right now Gwendolyn fell in love with her neighbor and is pregnant so I'm thinking she is pregnant again although she's not showing so I assume she's in the first trimester uh hoping to have a daughter to spoil and because she has a son I assume she wants a daughter now she never thought it would be so difficult to raise her half alien son and she is almost super duper fit. She is neither sloppy or neat. She is very shy. She is neither lazy or active. She's more on the playful side and nice side. She is an Aquarius. Interests include environment, culture, food, crime. Eh, not really. She's so-so in that. She doesn't like politics or money. <laughs> She's pretty interested in sports. She's interested in travel. And that's kind of it. She doesn't have any hobby enthusiasm that it's like super duper in her heart. And her memories are meeting a bunch of people. She is... A knowledge sim actually she's met a bunch of people because i think she just moved in the neighborhood uh of course she has all the default sim memories stuff like met mystery sim and had her first kiss with mystery sim she uh moved in she made some friends olivia isaac oh best friends actually and oh olivia and isaac are her parents i'm sorry i just forgot that i just saw that in the family tree okay so she inherited money from her parents and she met the aliens and she had prescott and then she had three best friends because she became best friends with her son <laughs> who's still having half of his head in the wooden floor that's majestic <laughs> and she met Francisek, and then she had her romance with him and then they woohooed and then she met a lot more people and i think now she's pregnant she wants to meet the aliens again but i don't think that it's going to happen anytime soon so i'm going to lock uh the want to meet the aliens and she also wants to resurrect olivia i guess it's because she is kind of struggling as a single parent and she kind of wants her mom to help her. Uh, but I don't think we can do that. We would need the Resurrecto phone, um, which is a career reward, I think. Oh yeah, for the paranormal career track. And now she's unemployed. I don't know if we will get to that level, but First things first, I'm going to make her nurse, Prescott. Uh, it's 6 a.m. now, so I don't know what is going to happen for the rest of the day. Oh my god, she wants to get engaged with Francisek. I think we should lock that one in because she wants that. She thinks she is um, going too fast with it, but to be honest, I don't think so. Um, I think she needs a father for her baby, even though... Um, the baby is an alien, so of course <laughs> it's not Francisicus. Francisicus. Oh my god! But I think he would be a really good daddy if 
he's not taken by another woman yet. So we will have to see. Um, she has three bolts of ener of energy of <laughs> attraction with him. So let's see how that goes. We will fast forward a little bit. Breastfeeding takes a really, really long time. She has 12,000 simoleons to her name. She's not really that much in a... Uh... Oh no. Yeah, she is pregnant. She's definitely pregnant. She needs to get into the maternity wear because she's not going to show otherwise. She has a lot of money to her name right now, so I don't think she needs a job like right this moment. So I'm going to hold off on to that right now because she needs to take care of her children first. I have a mod that... Um, gives sims the opportunity to wear any clothes like their normal everyday clothes as their pregnancy wear the problem is that most of the sims clothes um do not have a pregnancy morph and that makes your sims not show which kind of sucks <laughs> so i have to dress them up in their maternity if i don't get to Plan their outfits to something that shows their baby bump first. Actually, I can plan her outfits still. I could buy some new pregnancy clothes. I normally can't be bothered to change my Sims maternity wear because I have. I also have a mod that only makes pregnancy one day for my Sims, which I feel like it's it's a lot more reasonable when it comes to time management in their lives and usually when I play my households they are kind of struggling with money so I don't want to spend on clothes when they don't have money to do that I kind of see her with that it kind of matches her makeup I don't know why I see her as a girly girl Ooh, I like how she looks with these pants as well I don't know what to say you guys <laughs> I'm in such a dilemma. We have one more day of summer. And then she could change in those pants as well. She looks really, really cute. And then she can go to the toilet. And then... Let's get the show going with this guy. Maybe he would want to go on a very early morning date. Why not? Let's see what we can give her. I... Ooh, I kind of like this one. Kind of looks like an 80s style hair and it really goes with the makeup in my opinion. I... I don't know, please don't kill me <laughs> for saying that. I will try and see how she likes it because if she hates it, I'm not going to keep it. She's laughing at it. What should that mean? <laughs> Pregnancy hormones? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> Ask out on date Francisek and see how he feels about, I don't know, having breakfast at home? Delete this laptop because, I mean laptop computer, <laughs> because we don't need it right now. I don't know why I deleted the um, hack computer laptops because I actually love them. <laughs> But at some point I deleted them and now I need to install them again in my game. Uh, let's do it at home because we have a baby to take care of. And let's do some omelets. Looks like she has a pretty good skill in everything. Including cooking, which means we can serve up some really nice breakfast. And he's here! Um, I feel kind of bad because... She's taking a really long time cooking those omelets, and if she gets this house on fire while she's on a date, mm. that would be terrible. <laughs> oh my god. And the bills are here. She should probably get a job, but these sims in Washer Village do breed like crazy, like rabbits crazy. <laughs> and now she's listening to a joke, and she wants to... Play with him. Okay, girl. Let's play tickle. And then... Um, let's... It looks like he wanted that as well. 
dance, entertain, entertain him with a joke. Oh, he wants to get engaged with her. That is just the sweetest, the sweetest thing ever. Let's grab a plate because she's super hungry. Hopefully he will eat as well. And it looks like the baby is in massive distress. It's wonderful. But we need to eat. Let's try to give him a surprise engagement. That would be really nice. <gasps> I really love when they do this as they're having breakfast. Like, let me take a picture of this. It's uh, so cute. He's so happy. Oh my god. <laughs> and the baby is crying in the background. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> and he already wants to marry her. It looks like we weren't too fast, after all. And let's go take care of the baby. For a moment here, change Prescott's diaper because he's been screaming there with the full diaper for a really long time. And we're already having almost a dream date, which works like so well. Finally, I feel like we have a little bit of a more wholesome family. <laughs> He also has the family aspirations, so I think that is just perfect for both of them. And now he wants to do with her. I think she's going to roll the same wish as well. We have to be cautious of cautious. We have to be cautious of early labor. I'm going to move away from that. I feel like a creep. <laughs> let's let's look at at little Prescott, and he looks really weird, like for all aliens. <laughs> In The Sims 2, and now she wants to have a dream date, which I feel like is a good place to seal the deal and um, end the date. So we're going to... where is it? End the date. And now she wants to throw a wedding party! Let's do that. I, I don't feel like it's a it's a good idea to do that right now because she's pregnant and she's super duper tired. But I feel like there's no other moment than now to do that because I feel like if they don't get married now, they're never going to get the chance to because they might have a lot more children together and she will give birth to the baby, which will take... A lot of time out of her schedule and make her even more tired and she already has Prescott to take care of and he's going to be a toddler and all that good stuff so let's throw a wedding party right now. I don't know who their closest friends are. Um, actually let's see. They don't really know anybody. Maybe, maybe Francisek knows but she doesn't. So I don't know, let's just throw a wedding party randomly. Let's invite Joseph, because Joseph is like the center of the action of the whole town, so why not? So, also oh, Melissa. Marissa Bendit. Horseshoe Green, because how can you not invite her? Like, look at that face. <laughs> how can you not invite her? And Willow, and also Belle. Let's have ourselves a... Oh my god, so huge. I don't know why, but I feel like this wedding is going to be interrupted by a birth. Ah, oh, we need a computer again. Let's set up a computer space in her room. Shop online, buy clothing, formal. Because we need to get a pregnancy more wedding dress for her. And she's going to plan outfit formal. Looks like a lot of people showed up, which is really nice. And this one shows her baby bump. That is amazing. Let's change into formal and let's get married. The wedding arch in here, move this tree over here. And I don't know, should we add a wedding cake or should we put it in the interior? And no champagne because our bride is pregnant. <laughs> So let's get married because they both want to do that. Oh my god, he has children. Yeah, let's move all the children in and we will figure out from there. <laughs> Waddling to the wedding arch. I'm hoping 
that Francisek doesn't wear anything weird for his formal. Oh my god, he looks so weird. <laughs> uh, this is. A... <laughs> I'm hoping everybody will come to see the wedding. <laughs> I don't know why he looks a lot like <laughs> Dustin Brooke. <laughs> oh, people need to watch the wedding. <laughs> and he's moving in with so much money. I don't know why. I have a feeling that we should have moved into his house. We should have done this while in rotation in his house. Why do I feel so stupid for this? Why? <laughs> and now let's have her, I mean, them cut the wedding cake. And the toddlers already want attention. That is great. And she has the good memory of marrying a rich sim. And we also need to get the new house because... We cannot fit so many children in here, and we have a lot of money, so we don't need to fit a lot of children in here. Oh, and now we're cutting the wedding cake. What are you doing, Belle? Oh! And now she wants to go on a vacation. I think we'll lock that one in because we we have money to do that. We married a rich sim, and he's excited by this cuisine activity. Uh, what are these toddlers doing? They need to be potty trained. They all need to be potty trained. We need to move houses. We are not paying attention to the guests because we are just very preoccupied with a crap ton of toddlers just being crazy all over the place. What do you need, child? The party is a roof raiser! <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Somebody help us clean up this place. Just go sleep in your pajamas, forget about everything else. No, 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 use, use, use the restroom, you're going to fall asleep. <sighs> this is a disaster with the babies. And this party was a roof razor. That's amazing to know. Go to sleep, you're dying. <laughs> and we're going to open this present, and we're going to sell the computer. We're going to... Oh, put the babies to bed. Oh no, the terrain here is just awful. Okay, this is crazy. I think I'm just going to move them. <laughs> like, right now. Yes, I do you all of the time. I like to I like to I like to love you every day. I like to love you, love you. I like to love you, love you. If I may I 
Okay, so we're back and we have just moved the Williams. Apparently, we changed the names to Williams. I'm not entirely sure if that was what was supposed to happen. I could change their family name through CPE or I could leave it like that. I think it would make much more sense to have the family have Francisicus. Francisicus. <laughs> It's going to be a tongue twister. Francisic's Francisic's last name because he brought the fortune, the absolute fortune to this family. Like look at this mansion. It's so huge. I actually have just placed a house from the sim bin and I just did some a little bit of some Adjustments. I was just super duper lazy, so I couldn't be bothered with uh, building my own thing. But I think it it is pretty all right. I added let's do a house tour. <laughs> I added some high chairs in the kitchen because we have so many babies and toddlers. We have the master bedroom here. I made it very, very classic. I think the whole house is very much Victorian style um, or even a little bit art deco, but it looks very, very old, like the beginning of the 20th century style. So I put the house next to Steve's cinema, so it kind of matches the timeline of the buildings, if that makes any sense. And we have the hallway and the living area and the study area. I have to add some bookshelves and stuff, but that is for the next episode. I'll take a note of that. And here is the master bathroom with the bathtub. It's very, very fancy. And yeah, the shower is kind of modern, but I choose to ignore that. And we have the hallway upstairs. We have a spare room. It's probably going to be like a skills room, but it could also be one of the children's rooms. We have another spare room. We have a lot of spare space. I have made the girls' room. I know that in the last house, they were supposed to have separate bedrooms with uh, each and every single one of them have a different color because also they have different colors. They're dressed in different colors. They're sort of like the Powerpuff Girls style. And maybe Francisic was supposed to be some sort of Professor Utonium or whatever his name was in the show um it was one of my favorite cartoons to watch when i was a child but anyways i'm 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 derailing again from the topic i know they were supposed to have separate bedrooms but i feel like as toddlers and babies uh it's not very very it's not practical i i feel like i can take better care of multiples if they are having a shared room, a nursery, a big giant nursery, rather than having them in separate bedrooms. We have another bedroom for the little alien baby because, I don't know, I just felt like he deserved his own room. I feel like being an alien baby, he could kind of be a little bit discriminated or anything like that, so... It's not like I was trying to separate him a lot more. I just felt like he needed a treat to have his own space. And yeah, I know that the um, wallpaper is uh, from the Bon Voyage expansion pack. And it's supposed to be some kind of island themed wallpaper. But I just felt like in this room, something plain needed to be happening <laughs> on the walls and on the floor because we have these alien patterns and I felt like it was enough of an accent 
if that makes any sense. This bathroom is super duper depressing, but I I chose to go with it and I added three potties, three potty chairs for little girls. And um yeah, of course, toilet and stuff. And the alien baby actually has his own <laughs> master suite bathroom. No, it's just it's just his own bathroom. Uh, he has the little potty chair. So yeah, that's basically it. And when the new baby comes, I think he will get either this room or this room. Or I could place him with the alien baby. They could share a room? I, I don't know. Depends on what the baby turns out to be. He may be... He may be... <laughs> the baby might be a boy or a girl. And either of the situation, he might end up in here or in here. Uh, or... Room. I don't know, I feel like this one is a little bit too large. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll see as I go. But I will leave the birth of the baby for the next episode because it's been such an eventful part. And yeah, I'm just gonna leave everything here. So I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, do something with this video if you enjoyed it. Comment share, like this video, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a really nice day or night, wherever you are in the world. Bye, guys. Hi.